And then as we get out towards the 9th and 10th, you can see we have a major amplified trough trying to dig in to the Northern Rockies on the GFS, setting up a blizzard-like snowstorm potentially for portions of the central to Northern Plains. You can see ice storm here. This would be a severe weather threat down here. This would be heavy snow to the North. This is a classic major winter storm here with lots of cold air diving down into the Southern Plains. Obviously that severe weather potential as we move forward would spread out towards the east. Now don't watch this exactly how it develops and I'm gonna show you why in a second, but January 11th, 12th, 13th, that cold air then eventually makes it back out east and we're gonna have some chances again for snow, I think in the south and along the mid-Atlantic and New England coast. Maybe towards the end of the second week instead of towards the beginning or the middle of the second week of January. The timeline is shifting a tiny bit here. So why am I saying don't pay attention to exactly where that storm is? Well, first of all, when we're talking nine to 10 days out, these models are not gonna predict where the precipitation is gonna be perfectly. A lot of times they're not even close. So let's take a look at the European ensemble because the European ensemble sees something similar to the GFS around this time. But I wanna show you how the European ensemble and all its different members handle this. We get out towards January 6th and 7th. This is one thing I wanted to point out. The controller operational runs has us very warm out east during this time, has all of this warm, has no storm system down to the south. But look at the European ensemble. There are some members that do want some good troughing down here to the southeast, and potentially this could set up colder air and a storm system for the south, for the coast, for the east coast around this 7th and 8th time frame. Obviously, the operational control run doesn't like this, but there are members that still see this playing out. Move forward a little bit more. Watch what happens here as we get into the 9th and the 10th. Some members have this storm system much farther out to the east. We're talking Ohio Valley, potentially out towards the coast. The control likes the storm system, really the highest confidence through the plains. But again, this is why you can't take a look at your control run and say, okay, this is what's going to happen because look at the spread on where this trough could dive into the states. Through the Rockies, through the plains, could it move in through the Great Lakes region? There are a lot of possibilities on the table here.